Hi, this is Ronnie, and welcome to my channel, I'm Punched Out Thursday, with Kathy, Krista, myself, and Dorothy. And today we will all be featuring our punches. I'm going to scrap this picture of my grandson, and it is a Christmas picture. He's opening presents. And I'm going to be using Christmas time, I think it's called, from Echo Park. I got it in a warehouse box right around Christmas. And here I'm using my snowflake punch. And I'm punching actually the other side of this out. And it's uh, green with a white swirl. And I'm going to end up using three more shades of green. Because I'm going to make a Christmas tree. And here I'm putting the picture on because I want to know how much room I have for my tree. I don't mind it going over the picture a little bit, but I was going to try not to. I pulled this green out. Well, that makes four colors on my tree. Um, I pulled this tree out and I put green, green, not tree out. And I'm going to cut a tree. And then I'm going to put my snowflakes on the tree. And I kind of like my trees a little rounded at the bottom. Can you tell? I don't like them a solid triangle. But I started putting these on. I really need to punch out some more before I put any more on. So I'm going to use this uh, plaid one. And I'm going to use this one right here. And that one's a uh, chamel. And these are all scraps. And I'm going to get most of the tree done. And I'm going to end up adding another one. And it's solid. It's, it's a solid green. But I couldn't find another green close by. I could have dug in some other containers maybe that I thought would go. So I just used a solid green out of my scrap bin. It wasn't very big. And I will add a couple of more snowflakes down on the bottom there. On the edges on the outside. But... Now I'm punching circles, and the circles are going to be ornaments on my tree. I'm going to punch several sizes, uh, three quarters inch, one half inch, and one quarter inch. And I'm just going to use scraps for them too. I believe this one's also uh, Chamel, that it's a six by six paper pad that I had. And I'm going to have another sheet from that too, uh, that one right there. And I'm going to punch out circles. And I'm trying to punch out whatever designs on the circles. So I can have them on my tree. And I'm going to put foam tape underneath most of them. The one quarter inch ones are the only ones that aren't going to get foam tape under them. They're just a little bit too small. Uh, but yeah, I have several different colors on there. And... Uh, I'm not going to put a star on top. <laughs> I don't have a stamp, a stamp, a punch the right size. I just can't seem to talk today. All my words are wrong. I don't have a star that's the right size. And I don't mind my tree not having a star up there. I thought there isn't any yellow on my page. And yellow would be the one color I'd probably want to use. So I was pretty good not having a star on top. I am... I had cut out when I, way back in the winter when I was doing the 12 days of Christmas, I think, I had gotten my, right towards the end of it, <laughs> I got my Echo Park uh, box in, and I cut out a page that had tags on it. I cut, I think all of them. You will see me cutting on one later, because I think what I did was I got tired before I was done. And I noticed it wasn't all completely cut out. So I will finish that one because I wanted to use it on this page. These banners, there's like seven or eight on the sticker sheet. Well, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. There is eight on there. I am only going to end up using three. I'm going to back five of them in that red. But And I was planning on using twine and hanging me a banner across there. But the more I looked at it, the more I decided, no. I didn't want to do that. I will leave it set for a while while I'm thinking about it, though, and do something else. Because, see, I got it up there, and I thought, okay, do I want to put a word on here? Is there something with eight letters that I could use? Or do I want to put a five-letter word? Or what I, What do I want to do? And so, yeah, I thought about it for a while, and I thought, I might as well do something else. 
if I can't make up my mind about something, I'll do something I know I want to make my mind. <laughs> and then I have made my mind up on it. Um, that smile down there is going to be part of my title. I wasn't sure when I started the layout what my title was going to be. I would have put my stripes vertical because I prefer them vertical. It kind of reminds me of wallpaper if it's vertical. And I would have put them vertical, but I thought, well, I might have a long title. I couldn't make up my mind what my title was. But I'm going to end up using that smile in my title. When I put that down there, though, I wasn't planning on that. I just wanted the smile on there. Because if you look at his face, I don't know how well you can see it right now. It looks like a little bit of glare on there. It's not a real smile. It looks like somebody told him to smile and he wasn't <laughs> smiling right. But uh, my title's going to be, I Love This Smile. And I don't know if he... This 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 picture, among some others, my daughter gave to me recently. Uh, they were from when she was married to his dad. And she really didn't want them no more, but she thought he might. So she gave them to me saying and told me uh, he probably would like it if I scrapbooked them for him. So this is a picture at his other grandma's house. And they were all there opening uh, presents that day. And this present, I looked at it, it's Mickey Mouse. And he was not a Mickey Mouse fan. I don't know if that's why his smile's like that. Or if it's just because somebody told him the smile that made it like that. But he was 100% Thomas the Train fan. He loved Thomas the Train. I mean, and if we've seen a train... If we could go around a train, normally that's what I do. If there's another street I can drive on and go around it. But when he was little, no. I, if it wasn't somewhere that I was going to be planning on crossing, I'd pull over and let him watch the train because he enjoyed it so much. But yeah, he was Thomas the Train fan. I am still adding to this little cluster. I have three tags there and the banner that says i heart christmas and of course my twine and i put two of the tags together and only put one piece of twine uh between the hole there because i thought well it already looks pretty busy with two pieces of twine there and i didn't want to put a third so i just kind of layered them there and here this is what i'm deciding what to put as my title i looked at those uh words over there what i could use and my first thought was, I love his smile. But then I thought, that's not his real smile. That isn't usually how he smiled. So I decided to say, I love this smile. And that's the border sticker I pulled out. And you see me cutting on it. It was a yellow line. Why? I don't know. That whole sticker sheet has no yellow on there. But it looked yellow. And I thought, I don't want a yellow on my layout. And I thought I might be able to cover most of it up or, or tuck it under but then I thought might as well just cut it all off I put the love on there and right now it looks like it shows up all right on that green but when I was looking at it when I was doing the layout I thought is it showing up enough do I need to do something else with this and so yeah I'm going to end up pulling a tag out to put there I oh yeah there's the tag and I'm going to cut most of it off because I don't need all that I just need part of it, and I'm going to put my title on there. Well, the part of the title that's not down there with the smile. But it's going to say, I love this. And, uh, yeah, the I part is going to be kind of just tucked in there because it didn't fit otherwise. Uh, let's see. what. Oh, I'm still working on that. Um I am going to also pull, it's actually the leftovers from the banner, but there's like a strip of the green dot and the red stripe, and it's pretty thin, and I'm going to put it right above the love, because see how plain it looks up there? Uh, I need something else there, so I'm going to end up decorating that area a little bit. Here I pulled out one of the hexagons, and it's got a looks like a robin with well don't look like robin's eggs because i'm pretty sure they're blue it's got white eggs but anyway it's a bird there on a nest and i'm gonna 
put it right there. Don't have anything to do with my layout, but I like it. So it is going to go right there because I wanted to decorate some more. Uh, I'm putting it on foam tape too. And when I go to put the foam tape on there, you know, I put it on there wrong. I thought, I don't want my hexagon going that way. How do I want my hexagon going? So I had to change it because I wanted it straight. It had the point going up in there into the word love. And I didn't want it to do that. So I had to move my tape around and put it where it's straight across there. I wanted a different texture on here, so I pulled out my enamel dots, and I'm going to put them in three spots. And I think that's all I do besides putting my Heidi Swap Gold on here. Yeah. And it will not be dry when I take the pictures, and you will notice that. But I thought, brighten it up just a little bit and put some on the tree. And, well, then, of course, I had to put it everywhere else, too. So, yeah, there's my layout. But check out the other guys to see what they did with their punches today. I'm sure it is awesome. And you will love it. There are some really talented gals. And they'll do some great stuff with their punches. But, yeah, that's it. That's, that, there's my layout. And my Christmas tree made with um, snowflake. Now, this is the first time I've done one on a scrapbook page made with a snowflake. So let me tell you, you have to punch a lot of snowflakes out. Usually, I've used my smaller snowflake and done it on a card, but I've wore that snowflake punch out. And it don't take near as much punching on a card, especially if it's an A2 size. <laughs> but it does take quite a bit of punching to put it on your scrapbook page. But I love the texture that it came up with when I was done. So that's one of the reasons that I did it. I like doing my trees different on my layouts and I have them all exactly the same. And then that way when they're looking through the books, even though they're not side by side, they're still different and they can see something different when they look at there. And I like using different papers for like the snowflake one so that it's not all blending in and, and together that there is a variety on there. But anyway, thank you all so very much for watching. If you leave a comment below, I'll get back with you. If you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. And those of you who are, thank you so much. And thank you for all the great comments that you put down there below. They make my day. But have a happy, scrappy week. Take care and stay safe. Bye.